Color Photo Stitch in Hatch 3 is completely new and it is amazing. Color Photo Stitch converts photos and images to realistic embroidery designs. For best results, you want a crisp image with well-defined subjects and constantly varying shades. Watch out for designs with shadows and tiny details. So this is Bob the Cat. He's a Maine Coon and he comes with Hatch. And if we go to Insert Artwork, in the Auto Digitizing folder, you'll see a selection of photos that work well with this tool. So I'm going to move my image over here to the side, select my image, and click Color Photo Stitch. And we'll move this over like this. So here's my original image. Here's how Hatch has processed that. And it's taken all those many, many colors and reduced it down to 10. So here are 10 colors. We can add more colors, or we could subtract more colors. To get the best result when stitching your photo stitch, you want to match these colors as closely as possible. So I'm not going to do color matching at this point. I am just going to put the RGB colors on, and I'll figure out the colors later, because I might have to use more thread charts than what I normally use. To see what our design looks like at this point, I'm just going to click Preview. And there we can see what our kitty looks like. The background image has been removed. So this is what the stitches are going to look like. I think he's a little dark. So I'm going to click adjust and we can do auto adjust. And we can also use the sliders. I'll click okay. And we'll preview that, see how that looks. I think I like that better. Color photo stitch designs are pretty stitch intensive. This design is about 130 millimeters wide, so it's about five inches by five inches square. I'm going to change the spacing to 0.35. Click preview again. And I think I like that pretty well like that. So this is how you're going to work with photo stitch. You'll bring in your image, you'll make some changes and click preview and see how it looks. And if something didn't go right, you can always reset if you don't like it, just click Cancel. Once you're satisfied with everything, click OK. We can see our 10 colors over here on our Colors tab of the Sequence Docker. We can look down here on the status bar and we can see that this has 164,000 stitches. So it's going to be pretty stitch intensive. If I go to the Objects tab of the Sequence Docker, we do not have color photo stitch objects. We have open shapes. We have outlines. So if I hide my image and I select one of these and hide others and zoom in, you can see what we have going on here. You can reshape these, but remember you are working with outlines, not a closed shape. So if you need to do significant changes, I recommend just deleting these stitches and redoing Color Photo Stitch. If you open Color Photo Stitch now, it's going to create a whole new design on top of this one. It will remember your settings as long as your design stays open. So if I save this and close it and come back at some other point, it will not remember whatever settings I had in here. I would need to start over. Some other things to know, transparent backgrounds and PNGs are ignored. And the maximum size is 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters. <laughs> if you insert an image that's larger than that, it's going to resize that once you click one of the auto digitize tools. Ideally, you should resize before inserting your image into Hatch.